for Chicago. Number 22, Courtney Vandersloot. The other forward, number 33, Emma Nisaman. Starting at center, number three, Candace Parker. Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And it's going to be the sky off the tip. Vandersloot with it. Copper outside. Quigley. Pass to Vandersloot. Quigley, she's covered by Tarasi. Clock at six. From downtown. A shot by Quigley, no good. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. The touch from Diggins Smith has a point in the WNBA. You need the teardrop. Helps beat shot blockers. Now here's Vandersloot. And that one's good. The idea from there was huge, but she canceled it out with great body control in the air. That body control right there is essential. If you're giving up a bunch of height on flat ground, then you better be good in the air and be able to adjust in the air, too. Here's Tarasi. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And she comes up with the news. Yeah, that's a high IQ pass by Tarazi to the wide open shooter. He's got a great sense of where to send the ball. Here's Copper. So the whistle blows on a shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. And this is our first free throw of the game. for your Chicago Sky, Kalea Copper. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one falls for her. You know, Kalia Copper is the kind of versatile player a team can really count on. She's always there and ready to deliver, especially when it comes to points. Diggins Smith. Pass to Cunningham. Reiner. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Tremendous offensive feel and touch from Griner when Brittany gets in that close to the hoop. Good night. Here's Quigley. Vandersloot outside. Copper outside. Pass to Vandersloot. Let's go with a three. She can't get it to go. And the Mercury going the other way now. 
Teardrop shot. Cunningham with the Sophie bucket. Cunningham. Red hot out of the gates. Four for four shooting. Now here's Vandersloot. Tight defense on her. Right side Parker. And once again off the mark by Chicago. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing in control. So she gets the whistle. Chicago. Back on the way up. If you have Brittany Griner at center, it makes your team an instant contender. She's got to be one of the most accomplished WNBA players of all time. And good on the second, so she makes both. First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Pass to Copper. To the paint. It's stolen by Griner. And up the court come the Mercury on the break. Here's Cunningham. She's covered by Copper. Now here's Griner. Here's Gray. That's good. Brittany Griner gets the assist. This has been a Chicago, great job of getting ball. into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. Get that head closer to the lead, and it's a lot easier to drop shots. Like Timeout called the sky. They got to be concerned with all the missed shots. Uh, every team is going to go through cold streaks. But when you go through those cold streaks, you have to find ways to stay productive. Yeah, and the coach might be telling them to try to get to the line, earn some points on some freebies, because sometimes the free throw line can be your best friend when the shots aren't falling from the field. they make is leading to a score here. Just a phenomenal ball game. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Passed on them on. Parker. Up top quickly. Defended by Nurse. And here is all them all. Chicago again missing. Down low, Turner lays it up and in. That's a pretty assist. They built a big lead very early. Boy, right from the tip, there isn't anything they haven't done well. It has been a textbook dominant performance. 
Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside. They want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. to Copper, pass to Gardner. Here's Copper. And looks Chicago like foul. an illegal pick was set, but now get the ref's attention. You have foul. to make sure your are set, but when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Now, here's Turner. Nurse, she's covered by Gardner. Now here's Nurse, guarded closely. Pass to Turner, takes the three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Kia Nurse. Well, they couldn't have dreamed of a much better start than they've had here tonight. Yeah, they came in with a tremendous offensive game plan. It's worked perfectly, and what a lead they already have to show for it. And you got to give credit to the coaching the staff score. as well. The they came into this game prepared. The Chicago perfect. team. And as Four. we conclude the first Phoenix quarter, Mercury. a one-sided game so 20. far. Mercury out in front, up by 16. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. performance from the Mercury so far. They've made the most of their fast break chances here and nearly going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Now here's Diggin Smith. Pass to Cunningham. And Al Griner. Tarasi. She's covered by Gardner. One down, two points for their first shot in this game. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, you just made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were inside. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? Here's Copper. Oh. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. Second personal foul. More at the line. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot.
trying to add a few more points to their lead. And it's not rocket science at this point. Just stay with what you've been doing. Pass to Gray. Reiner. Here's Cunningham. She's covered by Copper. Just five on the clock. Rebounded by Copper. Well, they call them layups for a reason. It's uh, not easy to miss that close to the rim. Parker, no good. Now Gray. Rossi outside. Pass to Diggins Smith. Fader on the way. Rebound Chicago. Copper outside. The shot from the low post oh, is good. Fantastic touch from Copper there. You can see how locked in she is scoring inside. Now Cunningham. Here's Diggins Smith. Pass to Cunningham. She can't get that one. The sky go the other way with it. Now here's Vandersloot. Three-pointer. The second chance effort. And Parker and lays down. Well, this is just what Parker brings to the table. It's a passion and it's a commitment to rebounding the rock. Left side, Diggins Smith. Basket good. Sky good. An aggressive drive from her that time. Found the hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Or the coach needs to get him back into a flow offensively. Hey, so they slow down. Gets free and they're starting to kind of Let's see who force their the shots. Runs. Yeah, things have snowballed on them here. You know, the misses just started piling up. I like this timeout to sort of calm down the team and get reset. Substitutions here. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Vandersloot outside. Back to Quigley. Shoots over to Rossi. And once again off the mark by Chicago. Pass to Griner. Outside, Diggins Smith. And here is Gray. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Rebound, Chicago. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Outside, quickly. Back to Vandersloot. Pass to Parker. Comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. Courtney Vandersloot. No one is better than Vandersloot at uh, recognizing and picking out open teammates. She has out of this world Phoenix timeout. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise.
change it up. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Turner. Inside. Here's Nurse. Gardner pulls it in. Here's Chicago now. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. That kick out to Parker. Gardner. Here's Alemán. Four on the clock. Over Turner. Alemán shot is off. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. Davis with it. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Here's Turner. That's in, and she's Evolve. now three for three and looking sharp. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Passed on them off. From past the arc. That's in. Coming up in the system. Talk about reading the floor. Parker's teammates feed off her energy as a playmaker. Now here's Turner. She's guarded by Alamon. Here's Greiner. And the Mercury tack on to the floor. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. Gets the whole team amped up. Sets the example for everyone. And we've That's reached outside in this one. The score. Mercury out to run, up team. by 12. 16. And don't go Phoenix. away, we'll be back momentarily. Second half, so far not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Tarasi outside. No good on the three. Here's Chicago now. A 12-point game. Copper outside. Pass to Quigley. Good, and the assist goes to It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. I like that determination, trying to do everything to keep this game within reach. And it's good for two. Right. It looked pretty, but she doesn't need to use the fadeaway when she's that open. Pass to Copper. Now Misaman. Gray defending. Copper outside. Count that one. And her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. And here is Diggins Smith. Pass to Cunningham. There's the three. The shot misses, and Chicago will come the other way. Now here's Quigley. She's guarded closely. 
Copper with the ball. He's picked up by Brian. And that's up three the single digits. Three for three. That's the way to start the second half. Phoenix leading. Tarasi with it. Diana Tarasi on the lane. Megan Smith. Shoots over Vanders, Luke. Megan Smith, no good. They start the second half, one for four. Vanders, Luke outside. Shoots over Diggins Smith. And too long on the shot. They're three of four to start the second half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Rossi outside. And she gets the bucket. Diana Tarasi. Well, it's that natural feel for the game that allows Tarasi to see plays before they materialize. I mean, she's creating while other people are still getting up to speed. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Diggins Smith. Courtney Vandersloot attacking. And she drops in the lead with the bucket. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Time out call for more than these high percentage shot attempts. It's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. That was amazing. Let's hear it for your Chicago Panthers. to Shields. Nurse. Six on the shot clock. Here's the three. A rebound by the sky. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Now here's Alamon. Pass to Heber. Turner grabs the board. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Outside to Shields. Turner with the ball. Heber defending. There's the triple. The Mercury with another miss. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. They get it back. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot. So she'll go first to the line. Foul, team's Three point play opportunity. You know, Ruthie Hebert illustrates the countrywide reach of the WNBA. 
She's from Alaska, where she won state player of the year multiple times. Masta Davis, now Nurse. To the wing, right side. Outside to Shields. Down to five on the shot clock. And she was fouled on the way up. First person to it's going to go on to Courtney Vandersloot. First team well, I really like watching the Shields when she forces the issue. When she's in close like this, shields. she should be Taking looking to score. Shooting two. The first one falls. Well, you talk about players in this league who do everything on the floor. You have to talk about Diamond to Shields. She won the 2019 skills competition during All-Star Weekend, showcasing her wide range of talents. And so she makes both from the line. And so it's Chicago with it. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Manor Sluge shot is off. Outside, shoots over Vandersloot. He got it up in time. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. And that's going to do it for the third team. quarter. Mercury out the front. Team. Up seven. And we're coming back right after this break to get the. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. The sky trail. Outside Parker. Pass to Copper. Misamon. Good. And the assist goes to Kalia Copper. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Rossi outside. Now Griner. Now Davis. Pass to Gray. And she gets it to go. Great communication between teammates there. Here's Quigley. Copper outside. Quigley. Vandersloot outside. To the middle. Misamun, no good. And it's the Mercury with the ball. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's to Rossi. Davis drills the three-pointer. Not shy from outside. Three. They're spreading the floor and chucking them up. And I like that mentality, playing to win as opposed to playing it safe. Yeah, why not take some chances? Come on. Vandersloot outside. Top of the key jumper, no good. Pass to Tarasi. Gray right side. The basket falls and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw. First personal foul, teams first. That was some uh, old school toughness. Gray did not let the defense bother her. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to be dancing. <laughs> Whenever Quigley gets a look from range, watch out. As good a shooter as there is in the world. Back to Diggin Smith. And she uses the glass on the layup. Brings so much intensity to the court. 
Diggin Smith energizes her entire team with plays like that. A challenging stretch for Chicago here. Outside, Parker. She's off on that one. Now Phoenix takes it the other way. For those joining us, fourth quarter here, and we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Rossi with it. He's against Parker. Clock at four. To the left side wing. From deep, Skyler against Smith. They grab their own miss. Reiner, shot is good. Reiner. That might be the last player in this league you want to get an offensive two and two and six two and Reiner to get the ball back up and in real quick. Shot by Parker, no good. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the ring. Gray outside. Outside for Diggins Smith. Skyler Diggins Smith missing again. time here. the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. And so she runs up to the line. I think we saw the contact. And first personal two. foul, teams first. At over 75% in her career, Parker usually makes the defense pay the for sending her to the line. Sky. Candace Parker at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. As the top pick in the 2008 WNBA draft, Candice Parker came with loads of hype out of Tennessee. And guess what? What'd she do her rookie year? She won MVP. She's off on the second. Not as productive of a trip to the line as she'd have liked. They really need all their free throws to go down at this point. Cunningham. 
It's good. Sophie That's going to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Parker inside. Reiner's there. Misses the layup. She had her with that pump fake, but couldn't make a pay. Diggin Smith, Vandersloot defending. Tarasi outside. Pass to Cunningham. Shoots over Misamun. Candace Parker pulls it in. Left side, Quigley. To the inside. And the basket by Parker. The defense has to do a better job of keeping Parker out of the paint. She's too skilled inside. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. That's the end of the game. Thank you to everyone for coming out and supporting your team. Please get home safely.